inspection. We're going to start with the engine compartment. First thing I want to do is let the instructor know that I've got the key in my pocket. Then we're going to look at our tractor. We're going to make sure we don't have any obstructions or damage to the tractor that would make it unsafe for driving. We're then going to look and make sure that our tractor is not leaning from one side or to the, to the other. Um, that would indicate a tire load or suspension issue. We're going to look at the top of the tractor at the marker lights on the cab to make sure they're properly mounted secure. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. They're a proper color amber. We're going to look at both mirrors and mirror brackets. Make sure their mirror brackets are properly mounted secure. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. They're not missing any nuts and bolts. The mirrors itself are properly mounted secure. They're not cracked or chipped in any way. We're going to look at both our front headlights. Make sure our headlights are properly mounted secured. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. There's no moisture or fog. Um, we're going to look at both the front turn signals to make sure they're properly mounted secured. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. They're a proper color amber. We're going to get low and look underneath the tractor to make sure there's no hanging hoses or any debris or obstructions. There's no leaks or spills underneath the tractor. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to unlock the hood latches on this side. Like this one. So they're both unlatched. Do your three points of contact when opening the hood. You want to put your foot here, your hands here. You want to pull. All right, we're going to do the engine compartment now. So first thing you want to check, you want to check your wires. You got wires here and here. You want to check all your wires, make sure they're not cut, frayed. There's no exposed wires. There's no illegal tape. They're all properly mounted and secured. You want to check your oil dipstick. You want to pull that dipstick out, wipe it off, put it back in, pull it back out, make sure it's at the proper level and put it back into its holder. You're gonna check your washer fluid reservoir. You're gonna make sure it's properly mounted secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's not missing nuts and bolts. It's at the proper level. It's not leaking. Your power steering reservoir, properly mounted secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. Not missing nuts and bolts. Proper level, not leaking. Power steering hose, make sure it's properly mounted secured at both ends. Make sure there's no abrasion, bulges, or cuts. It's no, there's no leaks. Power steering hose, gonna run into the power steering pump below it. Make sure it's properly mounted secure. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's not missing nuts and bolts. It's gear driven. There's no leaks. Right here above it is your air compressor. You wanna make sure your air compressor is properly mounted secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's not missing nuts and bolts. It's gear driven. I don't hear any leaks. These are your air compressor lines. Air compressor lines are properly mounted secured. They're not cracked, bent, or broken and I don't hear any leaks. This is your steering rod, probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, not missing nuts and bolts. There's not excessive amount of grease right here. This is your gearbox. Your gearbox is probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, not missing nuts and bolts. This is your pitman arm, probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, not missing nuts and bolts. Castle nut, cotter pin are both present. This is your drag link. Your drag link is properly mounted secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's not missing nuts and bolts. Castle nut, cotter pin are present. This is your tire rod. Properly mounted secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. Not missing nuts and bolts. This is your shock. Your shock is properly mounted secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's not missing any nuts and bolts. And there's no leaks. These are your leaf hangers, one here one back there in the back. Your leaf hangers are properly mounted secured. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. They're not missing any nuts and bolts. Your leaf springs go all the way across. They're properly mounted secured. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. They're not scissored. They're on top of each other and there's none missing. You have two U-bolts, one here, one here. Properly mounted secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. Um, if you look underneath, there's four washers and four nuts present. This is your brake line. And the small one here, you can see, is your ABS line. You want to make sure they're properly mounted and secured. There's no abrasions, bulges, cuts. I don't see any leaks. This is your brake chamber and your C-clamp. Properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. Not missing any nuts and bolts. C-clamp is present. Slack adjuster, push rod. Properly mounted and secured. 
not crack being broken. They're within 90 degrees of each other. And when the brakes are released, there's, there can be no more than one inch of play. All right, so this is your brake pad. Your brake pad is properly mounted secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. There's no grease or debris in its way. There has to be a minimum of a half inch of pad. This right here is your brake drum. Brake pad is pressing against the brake drum. The brake drum is properly mounted secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. There's no grease or debris. If you see any kind of blue on there, that would mean there's excessive heat. This is the inside of your wheel. It's properly mounted secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. There's no illegal welds. This is the inside of your tire, properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. No abrasions, bulges, or cuts. Bulges would indicate you have a broken belt. Checking the tire, you want to check all the way around to make sure that it has no flat spots. You have four thirty seconds of tire tread, and these have to be virgin tires. They can't be retreads. Check the outside of the tire to make sure that it's properly mounted and secured, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. Bulges indicate you have a broken belt. Outside of your wheel, properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. Uh, there's no illegal welds. Your lug nuts, you wanna make sure they're all present. They're all properly mounted and secured and there's no rust that would indicate that any of them are loose. Behind this hub right here, you have your hub assembly oil. It's properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's not missing nuts and bolts. It's at the proper level. It's not leaking. On top of it, there's a hub assembly oil seal. You wanna check it to make sure it's properly mounted and secured. There's no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. It's not leaking either. This is your tire stem. You want to check, take out your tire gauge and check your tire stem and make sure your air pressure is at 100 and 105 PSI in your tires. So on the passenger side here of your engine compartment, you want to check your coolant reservoir. You want to make sure it's properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's not leaking. You can tell through the little window here, the little glass, that you, you're at proper levels. Your coolant lid is hot to the touch, so you do not want to touch that. This is your coolant hose, properly mounted and secured at both ends. You wanna make sure it has no abrasion bulges or cuts. It's not leaking. This is your alternator. Alternator is properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, not missing any nuts and bolts. It's belt driven. Your water pump is up here in the front next to your fan. It's properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's not missing nuts and bolts. It's also belt driven. The belt is right here. It's not cut, frayed. It's properly mounted and secured, and it has no more than three quarters of play in it. You also want to check your frame. Make sure your frame is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, been broken, no illegal welds or hose. All right, we're going to do the pre trip inspection on the tractor. So we're going to start right here. You're going to check your uh, mirror brackets. Uh, make sure they're properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked, been broken. You're not missing nuts and bolts. Your mirrors, you want to make sure they're properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked or chipped. You want to check your blinker right here on your tractor and make sure it's properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's proper color amber. You want to check your door latch. You want to make sure your door latch is operational. And it is. You want to check your interior and your exterior weather stripping all the way around to make sure there's no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. You also want to check your hinges you'll make sure they're properly mounted and secured they're not cracked bent, and broken they're not missing any nuts and bolts show them door good we're going to check our fuel tank fuel tank properly mounted and secured not cracked bent, or broken not missing any nuts and bolts i don't see any leaks nuts and bolts are right here they're got the little hangers that are holding the tank on um, you also have these spacers on both sides you want to make sure they're both present and there's no abrasions bulges or cuts on those spacers you have your fuel tank lid you want to take the lid off you want to check and make sure the seal around it is uh properly mounted and secured and there's uh no abrasions bulges or cuts it's not leaking okay. you want to check your steps you make sure your steps are properly mounted and secured they're not cracked bent or broken not missing nuts and bolts there's no grease or debris on them that would cause an accident you want to check your work lights Properly mounted, secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, not missing any nuts and bolts. They're a proper color clear. You want to check your exhaust. We'll make sure your exhaust is properly mounted, secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. Uh, it's not missing nuts and bolts. You don't see any black soot that would indicate you have a leak. You want to check your catwalk. You want to make sure your catwalk is properly mounted, secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's not missing any nuts and bolts. There's no grease or debris on there that would cause an accident. You want to check your frame and your cross members and make sure they're properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. They're not missing any nuts and bolts. There's no illegal welds or holes.
you want to check your drive shaft. You want to make sure your drive shaft is properly mounted secure. It's not cracked, been or broken. It's not missing nuts and bolts. You want to check your universal joints. Universal joints is where it connects. You want to make sure they're properly mounted secure. They're not cracked, been or broken. They're properly greased and there's no debris in between them. The next thing we're going to check is our spring hangers. We got one here and one on the other side. You want to make sure they're properly mounted secure. They're not cracked, been or broken. They're not missing nuts and bolts. Your leaf springs. You want to make sure they're properly mounted secure. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. There's none missing. They're not, they're not scissored. They're one on top of each other. Um, you also want to check your U-bolts. You've got two of them. One there and one right beside it. Make sure they're properly mounted secure. Not cracked, bent, or broken. And underneath, there's four nuts and four washers present. Your brake chamber and C-clamp. Properly mounted secure. Not cracked, bent, or broken. Not missing nuts and bolts. On the back of it, you have a slack adjuster and a push rod. You want to make sure that they're probably mounted and secured. They're not cracked, bent, and broken. They're within nine degrees of each other, but when the brakes are released, there can be no more than one inch of play. All right, so your brake pad, you want to check it, make sure it's properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. Uh, there's no grease or debris in the way, and there has to be at least a minimum half inch of pad. This is your brake drum, properly mounted and secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. There's no grease or debris. You would check it, make sure you don't see any kind of blue on it, because that would mean there's excessive heat. This is the inside of your bud wheel. Your bud wheel is properly mounted and secure. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. There's no illegal welds. You would check the uh, inside of your tire. You've got two tires here, so you check the inside and outside of both these tires. You'd make sure that you don't have any abrasions, bulges, or cuts. Bulges would indicate you've got a broken belt. You'd also look inside the middle of your bud wheel and you check, make sure there's no space right here between the rims. And you would also make sure you have no debris in there to cause an accident. You also want to check the top of your tires, both of them, all the way around. Make sure there's no flat spots. Make sure you got two thirty seconds of tire tread. And also, these tires can be retreads. Or they just can't be mixed matched in size. So we're going to check our outside of our bud wheel. Make sure it's properly mounted, secure. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. There's no illegal welds. You're going to check all your lug nuts. You're going to make sure they're properly mounted, secure. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. They're all present. There's no rust around any of them that would indicate I got loose lug nuts. Behind this hub right here, you have your hub assembly oil. It's properly mounted secure. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's not missing nuts and bolts. It's at the proper level. It's not leaking. On top of it, there's a hub assembly oil seal. You want to check it to make sure it's properly mounted secure. There's no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. It's not leaking either. You got two tire stems, two tires, two tire stems. You want to take out your tire gauge. You want to check both your tire stems and make sure that you got 100 to 105 PSI of air pressure in both these tires. You also want to go back here and check your mud flap bracket. Make sure your bracket is properly mounted secure. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's not missing nuts and bolts. Your mud flap itself is not cracked, tore. It's off the ground. It's safe off the ground. Check our rear tail lights, four ways, brake light, blinkers. Um, you want to make sure they're properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. They're proper color red. Right here, you got this clear light. That's your backup light. Properly mounted and secured. Not cracked, bent, or broken. Uh, it's proper color clear. All right, so we're going to do the pre-trip inspection on the coupling system now. You want to check. You want to start up here. You want to check your air lines first. You have your red is your emergency. Your blue is your service. So the red one, we're going to check this airline, make sure that it's properly mounted secured to the trailer and up here to the tractor. We're going to make sure it has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. We don't hear any air leaks. We're going to check the blue, your service, make sure it's properly mounted secured to the trailer and to the tractor. You're going to check, make sure it has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. We don't hear any leaks. You also want to take these off. You want to check this is your glad hand you want to check your glad hand make sure it's proper mounted secure it's not cracked been broken it's not missing nuts and bolts this is a grommet seal you have one here and here you want to check those and make sure that they're present and there's no abrasions bulges or cuts next thing you want to check is your electric line your electric line is right here it's black sometimes it's green um, it's probably mounted secure to the trailer and to the tractor you want to check it, make sure you don't see any exposed wires or illegal tape. You also want to check up here on the trailer, it's connected to your electric box. You want to check the electric box, make sure it's properly mounted secure, it's not cracked, bent, or broken, not missing nuts and bolts. You don't see any hanging wires, exposed wires, or illegal tape on that. It's also held in with a safety latch here and a safety latch there at the tractor.
you want to make sure that when your tractor and your trailer are connected that you have your safe space between the tractor and the landing gear so when the tractor turns you don't want it to uh, catch the side of your landing gear and cause damage so you gotta have that safe space this is your apron your apron is probably mounted secure it's not cracked bent, broken there's no illegal welds this is your fifth wheel and your skid plate your fifth wheel and your and your skid plate are both probably mounted secure they're not cracked bent, or broken your skid plate has to be properly greased you shouldn't be able to see any sunlight between your skid plate and the apron if you do that means it's not properly um, connected this is your pivot pin safety pin you just want to make sure it's present that is your fifth wheel release handle it's probably mounted secured it's not cracked bent, or broken right now it's in the lock position this whole assembly right here is your fifth wheel mounting platform it's probably mounted secure it's not cracked bent, or broken and all your mounting bolts are present this up here there's a king pin that's coming off the trailer your trailer uh, your king pin is properly mounted secured it's not cracked bent or broken this is your locking jaws you can see them locked around the shank of the king pin you want to make sure they're properly mounted and secure the apron and the king pin are right here they're connected to the trailer so apron and king pin this is your fifth wheel and your skid plate you want to make sure your fifth wheel and skid plate are properly mounted secure. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. They're, they're properly greased. And this skid plate, when connected to the trailer against the apron right here, there should be no space in between. Also, when you connect to that trailer, that kingpin slides up in here into your locking jaws. And when it locks, the locking jaws will lock around the shank of the kingpin right here right now this is your fifth wheel release handle and it is in the release position so once that king pin comes in there and locks and that lock jaw is around it this will go into a lock position okay this is your safety pin pivot pin you make sure it's present this right here this whole assembly right here is your fifth wheel mounting platform properly mounted secured not cracked bent or broken and your mounting nuts are all present all right so we're going to do a pre-trip inspection on our trailer we're gonna start with the front of the trailer. We're gonna make sure it's properly mounted secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. There's no intrusions or holes. There's no more than three consecutive rivets missing in a row. We're gonna check the lower frame of the trailer, the top frame of the trailer, all the way down. You wanna make sure it's properly mounted secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. You're not missing any rivets. We're gonna check the side of the trailer now. We're gonna make sure that it's properly mounted secure. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. There's no intrusions or holes. There's also, there's no more than three consecutive rivets missing in one row. We're gonna check your DOT tape. You're gonna check it all the way down. You're gonna make sure that it's present. It's not cracked or peeling or missing. Um, we've got right here where you see these rivets. There's four of them in a row right here, all the way down. When you see those, that's where you've got a cross member. So if you get underneath your trailer and you check, you check your cross members, you make sure they're properly mounted secured, they're not cracked, bent, or broken. There's no illegal welds. You check your floor, it's wooden. You wanna make sure it's properly mounted secured. There's no hose. All right, this is your landing gear and your landing gear brackets, properly mounted secured, not cracked, bent, or broken, not missing nuts and bolts. This is the foot of your landing gear. It's probably mounted secure. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's not missing nuts and bolts. It's currently in the stowaway position. You have your uh, landing gear crank handle, probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. It's also in the stowaway position. This is your side trailer marker blinker light, probably mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. Proper color amber. All right, so we're going to check our airlines. We want to make sure they're properly mounted secured. Uh, there's no abrasives, bulges, cuts. We don't hear any air leaks. Then you have your tandem release handle. Your tandem release handle is properly mounted secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. Right now it's in a lock position. If we were to unlock it, it would move these pivot locks and it would allow the tandem of the trailer to move. All right, so you have your spring hangers right here. You have one here and one over there. Um, they're a little bit bigger than on the trailer than they are on the tractor. But they're probably mounted secure. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. They're not missing any nuts and bolts. These are your leaf springs. You want to make sure they're probably mounted secure. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. They're not scissored. They're on top of each other. There's none missing. You've got your U-bolts, one there and one right beside it. You want to make sure they're probably mounted secure. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. Um, they got four washers and four nuts on the bottom. You have your brake chamber 
and your C clamp, your brake chamber C clamp, are properly mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken, and I'm missing nuts and bolts. On the back of it, there's a slack adjuster and a push rod. Um, they're properly mounted secure, they're not cracked, bent, or broken. They're within 90 degrees of each other, and when the brakes are released, there's no more than one inch of play. All right, so your brake pad, you want to check it, make sure it's properly mounted secure, it's not cracked, bent, or broken. Uh, there's no grease or debris in the way, and there has to be at least a minimum half inch of pad. This is your brake drum, properly mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. There's no grease or debris. You would check it, make sure you don't see any kind of blue on it, because that would mean there's excessive heat. This is the inside of your bud wheel. Your bud wheel is properly mounted secure, it's not cracked, bent, or broken. There's no illegal welds. You would check the uh, inside of your tire. You got two tires here, so you check the inside and outside of both these tires. You'd make sure that you don't have any abrasions, bulges, or cuts. Bulges would indicate you've got a broken belt. You'd also look inside the middle of your bud wheel and you check, make sure there's no space right here between the rims. And you would also make sure you have no debris in there to cause an accident. So you also want to check the top of your tires, both of them, all the way around. Make sure there's no flat spots. Make sure you got two thirty seconds of tire tread. And also these tires can be retreads or they just can't be mixed matched in size. This is the outside of your bud wheel. Properly mounted secure, not cracked, bent, or broken. No illegal welds. You want to check all your lug nuts. You want to make sure they're all present. Properly mounted secured. There's no rust around any of them that would indicate you got a loose one. This is your hub assembly oil. Properly mounted secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. Not missing nuts and bolts. Proper level, not leaking. This is your hub assembly seal. Properly mounted secured, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. It's not leaking either. You want to check two tire stems. You got two tires, two tire stems. You pull out your tire gauge, check both tire stems to make sure you got 100 to 105 psi of air pressure at both tires. You would also check both these tires the same way you just did those. You want to check your mud flap bracket. You want to make sure it's properly mounted secure. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. Not missing nuts and bolts. You want to check your mud flap. Make sure it's properly mounted secure. It's not cracked, tore. It's safely off the ground. If it had DOT tape on it, this one doesn't, but you, if it does, you want to make sure that the DOT tape is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked or peeling. It's not missing. You want to check your ABS light. You want to make sure it's properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. It's not missing any nuts and bolts. Proper color amber. This is your rear trailer blinker. Um, you want to make sure it's properly mounted and secured. Not cracked, bent, or broken. Uh, not missing any nuts and bolts. Proper color red. We're going to check the back of the trailer now. We're going to start at the top and work our way down to the bottom. The top of the very top, you want to check your marker lights. You'll make sure they're properly mounted secure, they're not cracked, bent, or broken. They're a proper color red. You want to check your door. Um, you want to make sure it's properly mounted secure. It's not cracked, bent, or broken. You're not missing any panels. There's no intrusions or hose. You want to check your door cables. You got one on each side. You want to make sure that they're both present. They're properly mounted secure. They're not cut and frayed. You got your door latch, door handle. Make sure your door latch and handle are properly mounted secure. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. They're not missing any nuts and bolts. You want to check your rear tail light, blinkers, flashers, four ways. Make sure that they're properly mounted secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. They're not missing nuts and bolts, proper color red. This is your DOT bar all the way across the bottom here. Properly mounted secured, not cracked, bent, or broken. Not missing nuts and bolts. Your DOT tape, properly mounted secured. It's not cracked, peeled, it's not missing, it's present. All right, we're gonna go in here and do our in cam inspection. Getting into the tractor, you wanna make sure you use your three points of contact to climb into the tractor. So now we're going to do our in cab inspection for the pre trip. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna take your seat belt, you wanna make sure it's not cut or frayed in any way, it's properly mounted and secured. You wanna latch it, you wanna make sure your latch is operational. You also wanna give it a tug. You want to make sure that it's properly mounted secure to the floor, and it is. You want to check your mirror brackets, make sure they're properly mounted secure. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. Uh, they're not missing nuts and bolts. Your mirrors themselves are properly mounted secured. They're not cracked, chipped. They're properly aligned for driving. You want to check your windshield. You want to make sure your windshield is properly mounted secured. It's not cracked or chipped. There's no illegal decals or stickers on the windshield that would have struck my view. We're going to check our city horn. <laughs> Our air horn. We're also going to look in our glove box and make sure that we got spare fuses and circuit breakers. We're going to check the fire extinguisher to make sure it's properly mounted and secured. And it's also a 10BC fire extinguisher charged in the green. 
You wanna make sure you have three reflective triangles present in your truck. So I'm gonna take the key out of my pocket and I'm gonna perform a safe start with my foot on the brake. When I turn the ignition with my foot on the brake, the ABS light, yellow ABS light should come on and go off. If it comes on and stays on, that means I have an ABS issue. So it came on and it went back off. Okay. So now we've performed our safe start. We're now going to check all of our gauges. So we'll start with the oil pressure. Oil pressure is at 30 and climbing. Normal is 60. The primary air is at 110. Normal is 110 to 120. Secondary air is 110, almost 110 to 120. Coolant level is about 160, 170 and 180 is your normal. And we're gonna check our voltage. Voltage is at 14.1, normal is 13 to 14. We're going to check our right turn indicator. It's operational. Left turn indicator, it's operational. Bright light indicator, it's operational. And four way indicators, they are operational. All right, so next we're gonna check our heat. Heat over here, make sure the heat, we're gonna check the heat on low, check the heat on high. Now we're gonna check our defrost. We're gonna check our defrost on low, defrost on high. We're gonna check our windshield wipers. We're gonna make sure they're probably mounted secure. They're not cracked, bent, or broken. The rubber is present, it's not dry rotted. We're gonna check them on low. We're gonna check them on high. We're also gonna check and make sure our windshield washer fluid is operational, and it is. All right, so we're going to perform our air test. There's five steps to it. The first one we're gonna do is the tug test. Um, you got your yellow um, protection valve here and your red one. This is your tractor, this is your trailer. So first thing we're gonna do, do the tug test. We're gonna disengage our tractor brakes, put in drive, we're gonna make sure our trailer brakes will hold. Okay, they held. We're now going to disengage the trailer brakes and we're gonna make sure the tractor brakes hold. They did. So now we're gonna do the second step. And this is going to be the five miles per hour step. You're going to disengage both brakes, make sure you're in drive. We're gonna get up to five miles per hour and we're gonna put our foot on the brake. If the steering wheel turns from one direction to the other, that means our brakes are out of adjustment and need to be readjusted, so. We're good. So for step three, we're gonna do our air loss test. We're going to disengage both brakes, twice in neutral going to turn the truck off and we're going to turn back over to auxiliary just to make sure our gauges are operational. When I put my foot on the brake and hold it, I shouldn't lose more than four PSI in one minute. I'm going to time myself and I'm also going to have the window down so I can hear if any air leaks are happening. So, so we're timing. We're looking for that one minute. I'm listening to make sure that I don't hear any leaks. Okay, we didn't lose more than four PSI in one minute. All right, so now we're gonna do the fourth step. We're gonna do our alarm test. With the brakes disengaged, I'm gonna feather the brake. And when I do the primary and secondary air, both when they get below 60 PSI, I should have a red light that comes on letting us know. There's your primary air. There's your secondary air. So now we're going to do the fifth step, which is your protection valve test. We're going to feather the brake again, and we're going to make sure when it gets down between 25 and 40 PSI on primary and secondary, your protection valve should pop out. So let's feather the brake and see. There you go. They both popped out. So when exiting your tractor, make sure you use your three points of contact to get out. 
our pre-trip inspection on the truck, tractor, engine, coupling system, and trailer.